Hi, this is Chad Wyatt, and I'm going to show you the uh, Google Places scraper. It uses the API. It's a WordPress plugin. If you have the standalone version of the Google Places API uh, scraper, uh, this one's a little, little bit different. It's a little more convenient. Um, you can save your lists within WordPress and that type of thing. So what I'm going to do now is just build a quick list of plumbers. And so what you do is you just enter your query here. Um, I'm just going to search my local city. Click run. And it just takes a few seconds, but it grabs a bunch of data for every single plumber up to 60 records for each location so I could type in plumbers in Colorado Springs and Denver and in all the little cities or towns around me and, to, and build a huge list but um, what we have here is of course the name the address street you know then it broken down in the city state country zip the phone number uh, this is great if you're doing any outbound dialing whether that's just uh, cold calling or using a dialer I'm building this specifically. Um, will be um, I'll be using the, these numbers with a, a dialer, outbound dialer plugin. Uh, their website, if they have one. So this is a great way to see, you know, if they don't have a website, these are people you might want to contact uh, about either doing a website or if it's not in their Google Places listing, then they might need help getting uh, updating their listing. Um, this is a direct link to their Google Places page, so you can click on this and it'll take you right to their their page on Google Places and then you can if you need to look a little further into what they have going on here uh, you can. Uh, some nice info here is how many photos are on their Google Places page, so this will quickly tell you um, have they done any optimization at all. You know if they have 10 photos they're maxing out their photos which is great uh, if they have anything less than 10, well, they could add more, and they might not realize the importance of adding more. Uh, if they have zero, definitely. Uh, these are businesses you might want to go visit and see what kind of info is here. This looks like, to me, it looks like a generic listing, maybe. Not sure, but uh, we can go back and pick one of these. And um, so there's no photos here. And um, you know, there's no, uh, doesn't look like there's any reviews either, and we can tell that also by looking at the reviews. And so this will tell you zero to five reviews, so it only returns up to five. So they could have five, or they could have 105. You don't really know. But if they have zero, one, two, three, four, then you know they have. That's what they have. The max that the API returns is up to five. So if they have less than five, then those are great candidates to, you know, for reputation marketing and that type of thing. Uh, maybe they have a lot of reviews, but maybe they have some low, uh, a low rating. Here is a 2.5, which isn't so great. So uh, you can look at the reviews and then uh, decide if that's someone you want to contact. Um, if you have a need for latitude longitude, that's there. Uh, this is another little bit of info that might be helpful is open and close times for every day of the week. So, for example, let's say you want to contact businesses before they're open or after they're closed, depending on what day it is. Today's Tuesday, and I see that this business closes at 5 o'clock. This is in military time, so or this one closes at, at 4 o'clock. So if I want to call and leave a voicemail or I want to call and actually talk to someone, I can use these times to quickly determine if they're open or not. Uh, here's the Google ID if you have any need for that and uh, the query that you ran and so once you have this you can keep adding to it so let's say if I want to uh, go into a, let's see another location nearby what it's going to do is it's going to run another query now Manitou Springs is very close to uh, the location I'm currently at. So we see that we had 120 records but many of those are going to be duplicates because what Google does is it searches surrounding areas. Uh, but when you download the results, if I click download here, 
we get uh, the download uh, file in a, as a CSV. So that'll open right up inside of Excel. And um, what happens is when you download it, it automatically filters out the duplicates. So here's the phone number, and it looks at the phone number to determine if it's a duplicate or not. So you see, we, we had 60 when we ran our first query in Colorado Springs. We added uh, 13 more uh, when we searched in Manitou. So um, if, you, if you search further away, you're going to get less duplicates. But um, you can, uh, of course, take all this information and do um, all kinds of sorting and filtering based on the criteria. So the number of pictures, maybe you just want to see people that have uh, you know, zero images and you want to contact them or zero reviews um, or less than five reviews or whatever you can use Excel or your um, OpenOffice.org uh, spreadsheet system to uh, filter this down. Okay so again this is really easy to install the only other thing would be you do need a Google uh, API key to use this and what you do is you go into your user profile when you're logged in and there will be a spot for you to enter your Google API key. I have a separate uh, video to show you how and where to get it. It's free to get an API key. Um, you just have to verify your identity and uh, then you can plug in your API key and uh, start creating as many lists as you want up to I think about a hundred thousand queries a day once you verify. So plenty, plenty of uh, queries in order to get going. So, all right. Thanks for watching and I uh, hope you uh, put this to good use.